dear friends i will tell you the use of tile indicator in case of uh, shaft alignment uh, how to use dial indicator when you are going doing shaft alignment uh, first thing is that uh, when you are going to use uh, dial indicator first check what is the scale here some dial indicators are in uh, in millimeters and some dial indicators in inches scale normally there are two um, main dial indicators are used one is in thous in which one small division is equal to 0.001 inch and that is called thou and another dial indicator in which one small division is equal to 0.01 millimeter now i will show you the dial indicator a little bit information about it you can see here this is the dial indicator and uh, this one is in millimeter scale here they are hundred this is the main scale and this is the small scale this now this complete circle is divided into 100 divisions and one division is equal to point zero one millimeter when this dial indicator is pressed this is called plunger this is called plunger and this is the main scale and this is the small scale so when this plunger is pressed you can see here uh, we say it is moving inward and when it moves one completes circle it has moved one millimeter you can see here this is a small scale both are now zero now I press it and it is now it has moved to uh, one complete circle which means that again you see clockwise clockwise means plus and it, now it is on the zero so it means one millimeter and you can see here the small this is a small scale it will also it will move from zero to one and this one division here one small division is equal to 0 0.01 millimeter now if i move to plus uh, plus for example 20 it is 0.2 millimeter now it is for example i bring it exactly here okay okay this is now 0.2 millimeter from 0 to 20 is because it is pressed and it is it will move clockwise direction and it will be plus 20 means 0.2 millimeter now see here when i press this one when i press this one plunger this is called plunger it moves to clockwise direction and the reading is called plus reading so whenever this plunger is pressed the reading will be plus reading and it means it will move to the clockwise direction this is a clockwise direction now for example now you are on zero and this plunger will if this plunger is moving downside you can see this plunger here where i am putting my finger if it moves downside it will be minus reading and the movement will be counterclockwise now it has moved from 0 to in the counterclockwise direction to 80 but it is not 80 it is not plus 80 it is minus 20 because it has moved from 0 to 80 in counterclockwise direction please remember so you whenever you are doing alignment you have to note down that from 0 when it moves it is moving counterclockwise or clockwise Count, counterclockwise means minus this is this is now clockwise this is clockwise and it will be taken as plus now for example it moving this side from zero to this side this is counterclockwise and this will be minus again when i press it it will be moving clockwise and this will be taken as plus and when it moves from zero 
in the counter clockwise direction opposite counter clockwise counter clockwise means opposite to clockwise this is for example now 0 to in the counter clockwise now it is coming to minus 80 so it will be counted as minus 20 means minus 0.2 millimeter so whenever you will press this needle we say it is inward movement it is inward movement and the reading will be plus and whenever this needle this plunger will be moving downside this plunger will be moving downside then it will be called minus reading so this is very important to to note down in which direction the needle of the dial indicator is moving from zero and you have to keep your eyes on the dial indicator otherwise you can uh, you can read uh, uh, plus 80 or you, you can yet consider that plus 80 is the minus 20 or you can consider that uh, 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 different wise so you have to keep your eyes it is important to know the direction the other thing is that when you fix this dial indicator you can fix it from here or you can fix from here this this side here but if this if this one if when you are clamping from this side and the you are you put some more pressure it is more tight then this needle will not be able to move so this you have to make sure that this plunger can move up and down inward inward and inward and outward without binding and other thing which you have to make sure is that this plunger should be in the middle position so it can move inward and it can move outward it can move both both ways to note down whether the motor is up or down if the motor is down if the motor is down this needle will be this plunger will be pressed and in the same way if the motor is up if the motor is up then this plunger will move downside i am moving in the bottom position again i explain you if you come from from top to bottom and you make zero on the top now in the bottom if the motor is if the motor is down then what will happen this plunger will be pressed this plunger will be pressed and it means that the motor is down and you will get plus reading in the same way if this motor is up then what will happen this needle will be moving downside or outward side this you can see here and you will get minus reading which will mean that the motor is up so in uh, in simple words simply remember that if you make the, the reading zero here and when you come to downside and you get here plus reading okay it means that the motor is down again in case when you make zero here and you come to bottom here and you get minus reading minus reading means that the motor is up simply here you are taking the reading on the face for angular alignment you can see here you are using this you are using this you are using this forum which i make it here here and you will note down you will note down this uh, reading the solution uh, for okay. angular one minute. one minute this okay again so this is the forum here you can see here here i have taken the readings radial reading is plus 20 and angular reading is plus 50 and here l1 is 200 and l2 is 300 and coupling diameter is 100 so uh, when you use it in the formula this is for 
angular alignment and this is for radial alignment. This is plus 20 means 0.2 divided by 2.1 millimeter. These two readings you have to add for offset misalignment means up and down. And similarly here you are getting 0.5 millimeter. 0.5 millimeter here. This one plus uh, 0.5 millimeter which you put in the formulas to get correction for the angular misalignment then you add here then you add here and you get the final result